that the international media, they are bombarding misinformation about Islam. Some of the international news channels, they are saying, war for peace. The Islamic madrasas should be banned. Why? Because they produce human beings who cause terror. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Greetings and peace be on all of you. I request Brother Arif Zulfar of Dubai International Holy Quran Award Committee to come up and take the mic at the stage. Brother Arif Zulfar, please. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah. Dear honored guest, Dr. Zakir Nayyik, ladies and gentlemen, under the patronage of His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, Al Maktoum, Crown Prince of Dubai and UAE Minister of Defense, Dubai International Holy Quran Award has the pleasure again in its ninth session to welcome our dear guest, Dr. Zakir Nayyik. Tonight's lecture, as you know, media and Islam, war or peace. Proceeding to that, I'd like to ask Dr. Hamad Nayyik and Farid Zakir Nayyik to proceed to the stage to hear some holy verses from the Holy Quran. Farid Nayyik is the son of Dr. Zakir. من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والفجر وليال عشر والشفع والوتر والليل إذا يصر هل في ذلك قسم لذي حجر ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بعاد إرم ذات العماد التي لم يخلق مثلها في البلاد وسمود الذين جابوا الصخر بالواد وفرعون ذي الأوتاد الذين تغوا في البلاد فأكسروا في الفساد فصب عليهم ربك صوت عذاب إن ربك لبالمرصاد فأما الإنسان إذا ما ابتلاه ربه فأكرمه ونعمه فيقول ربي أكرما وأما إذا ما ابتلاه فقدر عليه رزقه فيقول ربي أهانا كلا بل لا تكرمون اليتيم ولا تحاضون على طعام المسكين وتأكلون الطراس أكلا لما وتحبون المال حبا جما كلا إذا دكت الأرض دكا دكا وجاء ربك والملك صفا صفا وجيء يومئذ بجهنم يومئذ يتذكر الإنسان وأنا له الذكرى يقول يا ليتني قدمت لحياتي فيومئذ لا يعذب عذابه أحد ولا يوسق وساقه أحد يا أيتها النفس المطمعنة ارجعي إلى ربك غاضية مرضية فادخلي في عبادي وادخلي جنتي صدق الله العظيم The translation of the Kirat, Surah Al-Fajr, the Dawn. 
in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, by the break of day, by the nights twice five, by the even and odd contrasted, and by the night when it passeth away. Is there not in these an adjuration or evidence for those who understand? Seest thou not how thy Lord dealt with the Ard people, with the city of Iram, with lofty pillars, the like of which were not produced in all the land, and with the Tamud people, who cut out huge rocks in the valley, and with Pharaoh, lord of stakes, all these transgressed beyond bounds in the lands, and heaped therein mischief on mischief. Therefore did thy Lord pour on them a scourge of diverse chastisements, for thy Lord is as a guardian on a watchtower. Now as for man, when his Lord trieth him, giving him honor and gifts, then saith he, puffed up, my Lord hath honored me. For when he trieth him, restricting his subsistence for him, then saith he in despair, my Lord hath humiliated me. Nay, nay, but ye honor not the orphans, nor do ye encourage one another to feed the poor, and ye dear inheritance all with greed, and ye love wealth with inordinate love. Nay, when the earth is pounded to powder, and the Lord cometh, and his angels rank upon rank, and hell that day is brought face to face, on that day will man remember. But how will that remembrance profit him? He will say, Ah, would that I had sent forth good deeds for this my future life. For that day his chastisement will be such as none else can inflict, and his bonds will be such as none can bind. To the righteous soul will he be said, O thou soul, in complete rest and satisfaction, come back thou to thy Lord, well pleased thyself and well pleasing unto him. Enter thou then among my devotees, yea, enter thou my heaven. A small brief uh, again of Dr. Zakir Nayat, a medical doctor by professional training. Dr. Zakir Nayat is renowned as a dynamic international orator on Islam and comparative religion. Dr. Zakir clarified Islamic viewpoints and clears misconceptions about Islam using the Quran, authentic hadith of the Prophet وسلم, and other religious scriptures as a basis in conjunction with reason, logic, and scientific facts. Dr. Zakir is 39 years old. He is popular for his critical analysis and convincing answers to challenging questions posed by audiences after his public talks. In the last 10 years, Dr. Zakir Nayak has delivered more than 1,000 public talks in the USA, Canada, UK, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Kuwait, Qatar, Bahrain, Australia, New Zealand, and many, many other countries. Now my pleasure to ask Dr. Zakir Naik to proceed to the stage. So please, you are welcome. Alhamdulillah. Was salatu was salam. Ala Rasulillah. Wa ala ali wa sabi ajmain. Amma bad. Awuzu billahi minash shaitan ir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa kul jal haqq wa zaqil batil. Inna la batil aka anna zahuka. Rabbi shuhali sadri. Wa yassili amri. Wa halul ugdata min lesani. Yafqah kawli. Respected Mr. Arif Julfar. My respected elders. And my dear brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
of Almighty God be on all of you. It's an honor and a pleasure for me to be invited by the Holy Quran Award Dubai under the patronage of Sheikh Muhammad bin Rashid al-Maktoum as a guest speaker to give two talks in this glorious month of Ramadan. The topic of this evening's talk is media and Islam, war or peace. Media, by definition, is means of mass communication. Media is means of mass communication. And Islam is derived from the word Salam, which means peace. It's also derived from the Arabic word Islam, which means to submit your will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to Almighty God. So in short, Islam means peace acquired by submitting your will to Almighty God. Thus, the topic of this evening's talk is means of mass communication and peace acquired by submitting your will to Almighty God. War or peace? Today we have to agree that media is one of the most important tools. Or rather you can say media today is one of the most important weapon. This media can convert black to white. It can change day into night. It can convert a hero into a villain and a villain into a hero. This media, means of mass communication, can do wonders. And depending upon how science and technology advance, the methods of media are also advancing. Today, the means of mass communication, that is media, can be broadly classified under four headings. First, we have the print media, which is further divided into non-periodical and periodical print media. In non-periodical print media, we have literature, like pamphlets, booklets, books, etc. In the periodical print media, we have newsletters, newspapers, magazines, which are printed either daily, weekly, fortnightly, monthly, quarterly, annually. This is the first type of media, that is the print media. The second type of media is the audio media. Today, we have audio media in the form of audio tapes, which are becoming obsolete. Next is the audio CD, compact disc. We also have lately the DAT, digital audio tape. This audio media can either be used by an individual person at his home, at his office, or in a vehicle he's traveling in a car, etc., by having an audio player. It can even be used while walking like a walkman. It can be used in gatherings, small groups, functions, parties, weddings, gatherings such as this. Or it can be used on a mass public level through the radio broadcast station. The third type of media we have is the video media, which again today is available in the form of VHS. Video home system cassettes which again is dying out, it is becoming obsolete. We also have the VCD, video CD, which too is becoming obsolete. Today we have video on the media, DVD, digital video disc. And the next generation of video which has just started is the HD DVD, high definition digital video disc. The other one, coming in the market is the Blu-ray. All these are types of video media. This too can be used on individual level at home, in the office, in a vehicle, 
in groups in gatherings or in public in mass level through the television broadcast station satellite channels cable tvs